Um, this episode, I've done some fun fun things off camera. Um, so if I turn around here, you'll notice that we have a village. And our house is just, like, right over there. So, um, the reason why villagers are so OP is because you can manipulate the villagers' traits. If I can get one in a hole here, I could show you guys. Let's see here. Um, I really do need a steady source of emeralds, though. But where is... Where are the villagers? Are they hiding from me? I mean, I know I'm just going to start manipulating their traits, but, you know... It's not that bad of a thing to do. I'm gonna sleep real quick. Okay. Now. Let's go over here. I know there's a bunch in there, but I don't really want to mess with those guys. <laughs> a little pool party in the... Well. Hmm. Alright. Hello, villagers. I just have you go in this hole here, sir. Thank you. Now I can expand the hole. No, we don't need to. No, no, no just stay, stay, stay. I thought he would do that. Okay. I need this guy to go out. So I'm just gonna do that. No. Okay, I need to do it near this guy. All right. No! Okay, if I do it right... Here. Sir, please. No, no! Why is this one trying to get out? Alright, yes. Yes, now you. Come here. Come over here. Don't go in with your friend. Come to me. Sir? Don't go in there. Yes, that's much better. Now we're just gonna make sure this guy isn't gonna get out at all. Do that. Alright, I think we're safe to start manipulating his trade. So if I'm correct, let me place this down. Yeah, alright, what trade do we have for the first time? Curse of Vanishing. Now, if we break this, it's gonna make him not that anymore. But again, and he will have a completely different trade. It's perfect. Alright. Now we'll put we'll put the axe in the offhand. Alright. And silk touch. We really want mending right now. I'd say mending is the best choice, but if we find something like super amazing that we just can't pass up, I'll take it. Piercing 4, I'm pretty sure you can get piercing 5, no thank you, impaling 1, no, no, just no, oh, lag, okay, now, okay. there, well the bookshelf trade is okay, um, for our enchanting table, but I really want a mending one, so if you could just give me a mending one, that would make this a lot easier, Normally this takes a second. Feather falling. No thanks. This is gonna wear down our axe. Let's put our axe. Yeah, let's have our axe there. Uh, okay. <laughs> Boom. And nope. What about now? Bane of arthropods. Still, that's gonna be a no. Curse of Vanishing. Come on, give me something I need. No thanks. Quick charge. Come on, mending. Maybe I'd take Sharpness 5. Things like that. Things that are OP. Those are the things I will take. Infinity. That's pretty nice. Mmm, I want Infinity. I feel like Infinity is good, but that's a lot of emeralds for Infinity. We could get better things. Heh, <laughs> wait, how many is it? Oh, seven emeralds for Infinity. 
I'm gonna keep that. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay with that infinity for seven emeralds and a book. I don't think that's that bad of a trade. We'll unlock his other trades later. Right now, though, if I can get out of this hole, we'll do this. Here, watch. Okay, it's not looking. Now. Cool. So, it's too bad because the newer villagers, vil the new villages don't have those bookshelves in the houses. So I can't just, like, steal a couple <laughs> and then make it. But anyways, that's a lectern I made. I'm gonna go back to the house now, assuming I can find my way back. And then show you what I have done, because you just heard I made a house. And I've done much more than make a house, if you were wondering. Our house should just be off this way. I always lose it somehow. It was right this way a little bit, I believe. Oh yeah, it's over this way, okay. We're good. Let's just go through the forest. It's a little bit of a walk, but it's not that bad. It's manageable. Let's go up here. There are both trees. Through the forest and... No, um, um, over and over and through the forest, and, you know, I really don't know that saying, it's not even a saying, it's some song, but it's about going to Granny's house or something. Anyways, here's a small hole. It is in a spruce forest, it's right above where we had those holes for the, um, water elevator, so... Maybe I'm not going the right way. Yeah, I don't think I am. We would be there by now. Boy, I hope I didn't lose my house again. I've done this before, and it took so long to find my house. That was... No, I don't... Ugh. Still can't get away from all of the pain I went through to get my house back after that. Um, I think it was like 27, negative 87, where my house was. I could be wrong. I know the village was 600 something. So let's go back to the village real quick here. Um, where's the village? Uh, there it is. Alright. Let's try going around that way this time. I feel like this is the right way over here. Um, if I get lost and look for my house for an hour, then that's just going to be sad. I'm going to start having to eat berries now, it looks like. Um, aren't they common in three forests? There they are. Alright, let's eat up. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to plant those. Now I can't break them. Okay, no, let me here, can I eat? Wow. How long did it take to eat one of these? farm a bunch of these here. Mm. Love me some berries. Oh, I just full on broke that one. Alright, let's continue on this way. With seven berries. That doesn't sound like a good plan, but um where are you, house? <laughs> This has to be about where the house was. I feel like this must be it. Maybe it's about over this hill. Yeah, it's around here. I'm almost certain. Um, 
I hope I'm a little certain. Wait. Water. I'll take the sugar cane. Um, there's a lot of sugar cane around here. Yeah, I'll take the sugar cane real quick, and then I'll continue on. Thank you very much for your sugar cane. Up over the hill. And over through here. And break that. Yeah, I really don't think this is the right way. I'm starting to doubt that this is the correct place to be. So I'm going to head around back, I guess. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Hmm. I feel like we've just passed up our house, barely. I would cut and then find my house, but sadly I can't because of this recording software. There's no way to just cut and then continue with it. It's either you stop the entire video, or you start the entire video. So let's just head back. It's getting kind of dark and I want to sleep again. Ooh, berries. Ow. You know, when you think about it, each prick is like breaking off an entire arm. Um, because, well, maybe not an entire arm, but breaking off like fingers and stuff. Because each half heart um, of damage dealt is like, that's a twentieth of my life, a twentieth of my body, <laughs> that sounds painful. I'd rather not go near a bush in this game, or in real life for that matter. They do prick in real life. We need to get back to the village fast. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Met two hearts. This is when a creeper walks beside me and just blows everything up. Alright, we're in. We're in the clear. Now let's go in one of the houses. And sleep. There we go. And we have 31 berries. Oh, let's not run out of berries again. Okay. I think we're safe to continue on. Berries don't exactly heal you very well, because, you know, they're berries. They're not exactly a full meal. There's, like, there's some reasons why berries wouldn't be a full meal. There's some reasons why creepers and skeletons are dangerous. Yeah, I could have gotten a disc out of that, but is it really worth it? Music disc for all of that danger. You can get blown up and lose all your stuff. Maybe I should track the coordinates of the village, and then if I die, I can just come back here. Then I'd lose a lot of levels. Doesn't seem logical. Negative 4, 8, 2, 74, 2, 1, 3. Okay. Oh, you fell in anyways. Whatever. Let's go back to that skeleton. He did have gold armor, and I kind of want to see what enchantments it has. I know gold armor is not exactly the best type, because it runs out of durability very fast, but I still do want to figure out what that is. As soon as I heal a little. So I'm healing at like one heart every 30 years. Okay, I think we're safe over here. He has it charged. It's a wandering villager. Oh, there he is. Oh. Run. Run. Okay. We're safe. No, we're not. Run. Run. No. Ow. That hurt. <laughs> Spruce tree inside of an oak village. Weird. Oh, I wish I had arrows. You would be a dead skeleton if I had arrows right now. Okay. Yes, I got a chestplate. 
It's a normal chest plate. Not as good as my diamond chest plate. I'm gonna stick with the diamond chest plate for now. Where was that wandering villager? Here. Okay, what do you have in, um, for trade up here, yes. sir? You have white dye, brown mushroom. Whoa, that, that's actually not a bad trade. One emerald for one trigger cane. Uh -huh. Um, actually it is a pretty bad trade, now that I think about it. Uh -huh. Okay. Sorry, villager, no good trades from you. Um, do you have anything better to offer? Oh yeah, it's the Infinity Book. Am I talking about? Maybe I should head off in the plane? No, I think it's doing right. So, alright. So we've checked that way. We've checked that way. Let's try this way, I guess. I know I've already tried this way before. But... I guess it's worth trying again. I remember it being off a little that way. So let's try that way. So negative 87, 27. I feel like those numbers were important. No, but that couldn't be where my house was. I remember I had different coordinates for the um, holes and I was first making the Water elevator. You know you can skip all me being lost if you want and find where I'm not lost. If you really wanted to, but I prefer... Whatever. Do what do you want. I'm just going to be looking around for a little bit. Okay, it's definitely this way. This is the right way. It has to be. If it's in this way, then I'm just lost. Well, I mean, I am lost. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. <laughs> Let's just find the house and everything will be good. And it will be continuing in an orderly fashion. Please be where my house is. I think this is the right way, though. I remember you had to go through a forest to get to the house. I mean, not, not a forest. Um, through some normal trees to get to the house. That doesn't seem right. Um, was it off this way a little bit? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Just gonna try looking around over here. I've got height. Um, how do I always lose my house from the village? They're like right next to each other. I mean, they're semi next to each other. Oh, okay. I thought I just died. I don't have very much health here. Um. The berries aren't exactly the most efficient food source. I guess when I'm looking, I can talk about what I have in my house. So I have a cow farm, a sugar cane farm, a wheat farm. I have basically everything you need. In one of the houses. Already harvested the wheat from the village. So, um, yeah, it's basically the house. I think it looks pretty good. It kind of goes with the theme of a dark oak forest. I mean, a spruce forest. What am I talking about? Wait. What's this? Uh. Okay, I need to continue to eat. I'm gonna try going over to that sugar cane. You know it's possible for sugar cane to spawn on top of itself and then like be eight tall. It's very possible, but very unlikely at the same time. So if you see one of those, take a screenshot. Alright, I believe if we just go over that way, we will find the house. I very do hope that that's the way. It probably isn't the way, but whatever, we'll look. So, worst comes to worst, though, I'll just KYS at the village and then um, track the coordinates of my house 
and then go back to the coordinates I put down for the village. It's a way, it's just I really do not want to lose the 19 levels. I mean, to be real, it's just 19 levels. Find a spawner underground in a mining adventure and get those back, but, you know, 19 levels and you don't have a spawner is quite a bit. So, um, that's definitely not the way. Um, hmm. How to find your house in survival mode and you can't find it. Uh, I guess I could ask Google on a different device. But, it's not as fun when you ask Google. I like figuring things out myself. Even though Google is a very nice tool to use, it's helped me way more than I've helped myself, probably. Wait. Oh, I thought that was a house for a moment. Ugh. Please, I do not want to build a new house. That would not be fun. I tried actually making a compass before, last time when I got lost, but it didn't work because... Wait, did I go to the forest? I think that's the right way we should be going. Anyway, it didn't work because it just pointed to where I first spawned when I opened this world, and not to my house. So it was kind of useless. And unless I had built my house where I spawned, then we wouldn't have any problems like that, but of course I didn't. Soon, though, we'll have a nether hub. Then we won't have to worry about getting lost, because we'll always have enough obsidian and enough and one flint and steel on us. Well, I guess then we'd be littering the world with nether portals every time I get lost. That wouldn't be very good. Okay, I feel like the Dark Oak Forest, though, is where we had our other place, like the miniature farm. Wait. Oh, I thought that was a spruce forest over there. Never mind. This is the spruce forest we want anyways. There, There's like an open plains place where I have the farm, and then I just go that way of the farm, and there's my house. But for some reason, I can't find that farm. You know, I'm going to head back to the village. Where am I right now? And where's... Okay. Negative 482, 213. Oh, wow. I went the exact wrong way with my house. That's awkward. I almost died though just now. I gotta be more careful with this low health. I always gotta be eating when I get the chance. Cause I can't risk dying out here and then... That, that would just be sad. I would just lose it. Then I would lose all of the diamond stuff I have, all of the iron stuff I have. It would just be complicated. I would not like that. Stop placing them. Oh no, is it getting dark out? Please no. I'm gonna have to start eating more often. Yes, okay. You found it. Thank you. Alright, let's not lose our house anymore. Anyway, here's the cow farm, there's the wheat farm, there's the sugar cane, and here is the house. All my furnaces, I moved the nether portal, and all of this, and that area down there has turned into our mining area. It's good. I still haven't done any mining, but it'll happen. Anyway, let's make some more lecterns, because I want some better trades from those guys. So, um, let's sleep first. First things first. We should make a villager breeder area. That would be nice. I'll do that off camera, though, because I don't actually know how to build one of those without a tutorial. And if I put a tutorial on camera, I get a right here, I like political stuff, which I do not want to do. So I'll just do it off camera and then show you guys when I'm done. So anyways, let's go... 
let's make our lantern. That's what we should do. So we got the oak. Um, right, we need sugar cane. Uh, we need leather and sugar cane. Leather's not that big of a problem, but sugar cane, on the other hand. Um, it's, we don't have very much of it. Maybe we should just go on a mining adventure with two diamond pickaxes. Is that a better call, I guess? Or maybe we could get one more lectern, then wait until we get an efficiency, efficiency five to at best, and then we could enchant that um, diamond pickaxe. First of all, though, I want to make an anvil. I don't, I don't think we've already made an anvil, so let's make an anvil. They are very useful. Okay, we're definitely not going to have enough. Wait, oh, we're going to have more than enough. Okay, let's do that. And boom. We have an anvil. Let's break that. I'm going to make some new tools also with this extra iron. That doesn't look good. I use slabs here. Oh, no. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's put oak right here. And then, you know, that that's fine. I like it. We'll just do that. I'm okay with that. So, anyways, we've made our second diamond pickaxe. I want to enchant this guy. We get enough emeralds from, like, I don't know, farming their farms with bone meal. Then, actually, I could farm my own farm with bone meal. What am I talking about? If we could find a skeleton grinder, it would be so nice. I wouldn't need to worry about all this farming anymore. Let's just grow all of this. Actually, I could probably use it on potatoes. Anyways, let's reprint, replant. Might as well, while we're here, feed those cows. As soon as I'm done planting. Pretty soon I'm gonna have to add a second unit of wheat. This thing grows fast. Oh, whoops. Good thing I have a hoe on me. That's why you keep every tool you can get in your inventory at all times. You never know when you're gonna need them. I'm gonna make a diamond sword, because why not? It's only two diamonds, it's kind of cheap. Um, let's refresh those other tools. I have a new shovel in here. Um, uh, that's an iron pickaxe. Why did a hoe just spit out? You're just not gonna ask about that. Where's iron? Okay, there. Oh, I need these arrows. Okay. Boom. 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 Alright, I don't think we need to replenish anything more. So I guess that means we're good to go back to the village. I don't have any potatoes or anything on me. So I guess we'll see... Why do I have 21... Oh, that's right, because of the adventure. So I could just make a lectern here if I wanted. All I need is a little leather. I can get that with my wheat. We just breed a couple cows and then um, let a couple of them go to um, a different place, a happier place. Um, goodbye, cows. All right. I'll call it defeating the cow. That sounds less, more humane. Okay, I'm gonna defeat this cow. I'm gonna defeat that cow. Two leather, I need to defeat one more cow. Sorry, cow. Alright, I've defeated enough cows. I don't think we had any other leather in here, did we? That's a no. That's a no. And that is a no. Okay. So let's just make a little sugar cane in the paper. 
Alright, nine, that's good. Now, three books. Let's just get a little wood here. I could chop some more wood if I need to. Do we not have any more wood? I'm just gonna chop a little more. It hurt to chop one measly tree. One moment. Okay. Boom. Now let's turn those into spruce planks. And we have ourselves a bookshelf. Now let's make some slabs. And ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a lectern. A lectern, yes. Alright. We don't need any more lecterns, I don't think. It already costs enough to make one lecter. So let's go find some efficiency. And I think... Oh, well, I guess I want unbreaking um, mine, too. Hmm. Okay, well... I think we can just go with efficiency. efficiency. I don't think unbreaking is very necessary. Anyways, let's put down the coordinates of our house. Oh, I thought that was another diamond pickaxe. I can say we have way too many diamond pickaxes. Um, let's cook some raw beef real quick, assuming we don't have any cooked beef already. No. Okay. We should have coal in all of these. Here, let's do let's see, four, three, that's seven. Sixty-four divided by seven is nine for each one. All right. Wait. Oh, it already has spruce in it. Let's just fill all of those. No spruce. Just charcoal. Alright, we'll put the, um, the pen in there, and then we'll just put one of these in each, I guess. This is why you want seven of the furnaces, because you can just throw all these in, and in not very long, you will have seven cooked steak, or beef, or just steak, cooked steak means that it's probably burnt, so, anyways, we got our steak. Seriously, half a heart extra? You gotta be kidding me. Let's just mark our house coordinates. Our house coordinates are 3, 7, negative 3, 7, 2, 66, command 66, negative 106. Or execute, um, order 66, right. Order 66 is not a good order. It's a bad order. Yeah, I remember we had to go through this forest to get to the village. Oh, wait, there's lakes there. We were probably close to our house and we didn't even know it. Actually, I remember this place. We were there when we were lost. Hmm. Well, we're not going to be lost anymore in this episode. We have the coordinates of both the house and the, um, village. I could set up another portal in the village, and then we could just simply just walk from the village, or the house to the village, or the village to the house to the nether. Plus, that would be a better way of transporting villagers, because I want to make a villager breeder under the house, and that would make things a lot simpler. So anyways, let's just go in here, up around here, there's our village, right down here. I should probably actually put the nether portal in the nether, um, in the actual place of the nether portal, if you know what I mean. Because, um, okay, this is going to be hard to explain, but when you make a nether portal and go through it, it'll put you in the nether, of course. And there's coordinates in the nether, as there are in the overworld, but the coordinates in the nether are an eighth of the coordinates in the overworld. 
So every time you go a, go a block in the nether, it's like eight blocks in the overworld, if that makes any sense. So, simply, um, when you go through the nether portal, it doesn't put you where the coordinates are in the nether. Meaning you have to do that, do that yourself if you want it to be the right coordinates. And that's how you make nether hubs. It's a little complicated, but once you understand it, it's actually simple. So, now we have three villagers in here. Let's sleep here. Good night. And we want to make sure there's no zombie issues with these villagers. That's going to be an issue. Alright, we're going to have you escape. Good. Not you, not you. You are not allowed to leave. Where'd you go? Okay, okay. We're going to break this. Wait, that, that's not the composter that's giving you your profession. Okay, we're gonna have you escape. Not the bookshelf person. We're gonna have that guy escape. Okay, let's get this out of our inventory. You, come with me. Up here. Before he notices. Come on, just move. Come on, guys. No, 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 this is tricky. Villagers never want to go, stop it. Villagers are very defiant to where you want them to go. So normally they're not going to go the right way. Come on, there's literally an escape way. Neither of you are taking advantage of it. Come on, you. No, no, no. Not you. Can I just have one of you go on one side and another on the other? Yes. Perfect. No, 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 stop it, stop it, Bruce Plank. <clears throat> you guys are making this way more painful than it has to be. Just grab a little dirt, quick, now. Please. Yes. No, wait, wait, you're not supposed to go over there, no. 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 Come on. Please. Yes! Okay, we're safe, we're safe. Let's do that. Now let's do that. A little bit over here. Not that, not that. Alright, sir, you are now a librarian. Congratulations. Thorns 3, no thank you. That's gonna be a big durability problem. You are now Curse of Binding. I'd rather not have that enchantment on my stuff. It's not fun to get off. What we got here? Channeling. Okay. Channeling's fun in thunderstorms. Efficiency 2. I want efficiency at least 4. I'll take efficiency 4. What is that trade anyway? Six emeralds for three bookshelves? It's an okay trade. Not that bad, but it's pretty bad. Aha! So you have your bookshelf trade. Right now, sharpness four. But it's 37 emeralds. Who's gonna pay that much for sharpness four? Unless we had infinite emeralds. No. Sharpness 4 again. How much is it this time now? 31. Still pretty bad. No. Come on. Infinity 18 emeralds. The other guy is selling it for 7. Whoa. Okay. Uh, bad trades. Come on, move. Move. I don't want to hit you or else you'll up your trades and make this a lot more complicated. Fortune 3. Huh? You know what? I'll go with that. That's fine. It's a pickaxe trade. I just noticed. I need emeralds. And I need a book. I forgot about the book part. And I also need to find our handy dandy... 
um, huh. farmer because he has some trades I could do. But he's gone now. Why is there just that pool of villagers over there? I'm just not gonna ask. Um, anyways, we have some good trades. I'd say, I'd say we got good trades. Let's go back now. Here, can you go in a hole? I would, I would be very happy if you went in this hole. No. I'm just not gonna deal with that for now. Villagers do not like going where you want them to go. It's like they're programmed to go the opposite way of where you want them to go. Telepathically, they can tell where you want them, where you want, where you want them to go. So let's make sure we're headed the right way this time. Okay, it's negative three, seven two, and negative one oh six. Okay, so it's this way. No, it's this way. I would have never found my house with those coordinates. Wait, no, it is this way. Wait, what? Oh. Wait, so it's over this way. We have three, seven, two, negative one, oh, six. Oh, it's over that way. I would have never guessed that. I was headed in the exact opposite way. Okay. I don't even know where I'm going at this point. Oh, well, there's the village. Wait, so it is off in that direction. I should have known. Okay. Let's go. That's why it was so hard to find my house. It was way in, off in the opposite direction. No wonder. It's day 23, even though it's only episode 4. Actually, no, it's episode... Uh, I'm forgetting at this point. And we're literally on, like... One of the first few episodes that I'm already forgetting. Most people forget when they get in the hundreds. This is sad. Um. Up over this way. I know it. Okay, there's the forests. Wait, was it 10? Negative 106? Okay, this needs to keep going down. What was that first one? Negative three seven two. Oh, so it's off this way. Okay. I'm fine with that. Oh, and there's the spruce forest. Okay. Yes, that's where we need to be going. That is where I will find my house. Here's the bodies of water. And drum roll, please. Editing it in. Here we are. We're home. The coordinates worked. And we have some sugar cane waiting for us. Boom, boom, boom. Um. Right, so, mining adventure. It's rather important, I guess. We'll get. Um, we'll get two from each. Because every two is eight torches. Actually, no, we'll do three. Three from each. That sounds reasonable. Right now we're at 36, 40, 44, 48. 48 torches, plus the ones we already have in here. How many do we have in here? I keep putting the arrows back somehow. Why do I do that? Okay, torches. It's 12 torches. Not enough. Wait, what? Uh, Minecraft? Okay, we're good, we're good. <laughs> Minecraft forgot about the recipe for a moment there. 60 torches. We can't go wrong with 60 torches. Oh. I forgot we had some coal in there. That's right, um, yeah, I don't think we need to worry about torches anytime soon. So, let's get some of that. Okay, 
That's going to be 28. Why not? We'll make as many torches as we can for now. I mean, that's not as many as we can, but it's a lot of torches. It's more than I normally have. Yeah, I found these caves, and they have, like, tons and tons of coal inside them. That's why I have so much coal. Anyways, is there anything else we need? I think that's all. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, like, halfway through, and I'm gonna be like, oh, I needed that. Right, I need more steak. What am I doing? I can't go in with two steak. How much steak do I have in here? Not enough. Okay. Let's go exterminate or defeat. Defeat some cows. Defeat some cows. Sorry, guys. It has to happen. Okay, I feel bad, but. Now we have 11 raw beef. You can't be mad. Okay. Let's just cook some raw beef here. Alright. Boom. 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 Now we will wait. Okay. We're up to six. And now we're up to 10. As soon as that cooks, we will be up to 13. I like it. And we have some extra leather. So I guess it's time to do the adventure. Let's reorganize this a little bit. I always like my torches next to my pickaxe. Feel the most efficient. Okay. I know that we can do the one block mining thing, and it's slightly faster, but I just feel like it's more like it just feels better to do it this way. Oh, that's my mom's phone. And my sister's calling it. That's fun. Okay. Um. Yeah. So now we have some music. Hopefully, I don't get copyrighted because of. That, that would just be sad. So let's get some iron here. Alright. Here we go. Cool. Now let's place a torch. I'll have my shovel right there. Okay. Start mining through that. There's our mine shaft. Don't really need it right now. I'll mine every ore I come by though, because why not? Every ore is useful at this point. Redstone, you want to save up for your big redstone contraptions later on. I love redstone contraptions. They are amazing. Especially for survival, because in survival you can't have command blocks. Unless of course you have cheats on, but then is it really survival at that point? Is it more creative? I guess it really depends on what your mode is what game mode you're in. But still, I guess it's survival with cheats on. We'll say that. So you could say it's 100% survival mode. Just, the trick is you have cheats, so not exactly survival. It's hard to explain. Let's just find some diamonds here. I could go cave mining. But, um, I feel like this is just a little more efficient than cave mining. It really depends on your luck. Um, and your skull fighting. I'm pretty good at fighting monsters, but when there's, um, a horde of zombies, <laughs> we, we know what that seems like. <clears throat> First episode. Um, at that point, it's time to run. Okay, dark area in here. I see some coal, but I'm not leaving my strip mine to go get it. Because then I'll find iron around the corner. Ooh, and then I see some redstone. Then I'll find a little more gold. Technically, this vein of redstone is connected to my gold. So I'm allowed to mine it. Okay. If I see diamonds, though, 
then I'll make an exception. Or if I see... Yeah, I guess diamonds are really the only thing that I would make an exception for. Um, let's grab this redstone here. There's some iron over there. You know what? Iron and diamonds. Iron and diamonds are the only thing that I'll make exceptions for. Because you don't find them very often. Okay, there's some more iron. Just, just torch this place up a bit. Okay, I know I'm using a diamond pickaxe, but most likely I'm going to find three diamonds in this entire diamond pickaxe because I can break 1,381 more blocks. I think the chances are towards me on that as far as finding three more diamonds. It's not going to be that hard to find three more diamonds. Unless, of course, I get very unlucky, which I probably will. Last time we got very lucky. We found diamonds almost instantly. I hope that happens again. Except, of course, the diamonds were in the mine shaft. Then I did find a couple more veins, so... It really depends on your luck, I guess, when strip mining. It's a good way to test your luck. And it's also a good way to test your patience, because... Strip mining isn't always the funnest thing in Minecraft. Maybe for some people it is, but... For me, it's just... It's strip mining. Of course, it's always exciting that you might find another diamond in the next block, but, um, chances are you won't. You'll have to go a while until you will find some diamonds. But it's just fun, feeling like that block or that block could be the next diamond block. It's, it, it's what keeps me mining. If I couldn't, if it wasn't diamonds up ahead, I'd probably not be strip mining. Well, obviously I wouldn't, because what's the point? If there wasn't diamond, then I already have enough iron. I'm not running low on iron. I just stop. Of course, it's a good source of cobblestone. Because later on, there's some contractions that need so much cobblestone. So you want to be getting all the cobblestone you can find. So I'm just going to keep mining cobblestone here. Let's keep going. <clears throat> um. Hmm. We haven't found an ore in a while now, looks like. No redstone, no coal, no iron, no gold, and definitely not diamonds. Why would those show up? Um, there's some granite. Granite's nice. I wish this was the randomizer, randomizer series because in that, granite is a lot more precious because it can give you another random drop. Well, actually, um, was granted that good? I can't remember. I think it was not good. I have to look back. This is a good level-making way, though. Now we're at 22 levels. That'll be good for combining. I can't wait until I can get that pork in three, though. And then infinity. Then we won't need to worry about crafting all those arrows. Bad inventory management, it's... A lot of use of flint and sticks, and you have to get rid of all these chickens. Um, I know that you can't get mending and infinity at the same time, so um, that's going to be an issue because I like both of those. Um, you, I don't think you can repair a bow with anything. I can look that up later on, but I really don't remember being able to. We found a cave. Do I explore the cave is the question. I always do have the core- oh. Um, I guess we're not gonna explore the cave. I'll grab that gold real quick though and that iron. You know, actually we will explore the cave. I wanna explore the cave. I'll make sure to place more torches because you guys said it was kind of dark. Um, when I'm going through caves. So... I'll make sure to place more torches, because on my end, it's actually pretty light. I can see all the way down that cave, but for you, it probably isn't. Oh yeah, I almost forgot the iron. Ooh, there's some more stuff up there. I'm not going to go up there, actually. I mean, maybe I will. It's gold. If this, if this was UHC, I would be up there in an instant. Gold is, like, as good as diamonds in UHC. Well, actually, I think diamonds are a little more go good than gold in UHC, but... If you don't know what UHC is, it's basically, um, 
you go in and you spawn in with a bunch of other players, and then you have to collect resources. But the trick is, and um, defeat the other players. But the trick is, you can't regen, and it's on hard difficulty. So, um, it's really tricky to stay alive even without other players. I told my sister not to use Alexa, an Alexa's announce feature while I'm YouTubing. She doesn't listen to that, though. Why would she? I don't want to get lost in the cave again. But anyways, as I was saying, the UHC, it's hard enough with other players running around looking for you. And then it makes it even harder when, um you have all these mobs in hard difficulty killing you and you can't read them. The worst part of it though is when you have a witch. If a witch were to splash a, po a poison potion on you, <coughs> you're not going to be able to read them. So it's not, not good. You want to stay clear of witches, but if you do slay one, there's a chance it'll give you the healing potion. Those are OP. Just like golden apples. Also, if you do kill a player, you get all their all their stuff, of course, but you get a player head of them. And that is very useful because you can use it as a golden apple and it'll heal you a lot. You can also combine player heads to get better golden apples. Um, that's fun. Anyways, we could do a little UHC on the channel later. But for now I think I'm just gonna do a lot of survival. Um, survival is fun. I don't want to go too deep into different caves. I'm just going to look in it without torches. I know you guys can't see it. Um, and if I see iron or diamond, I'll mine it. And if I don't, then I'll just continue on the main route. Um, because I don't want to get too off in different ways. Because then I'll be like, where did I come from? How do I get out? That's, that's not what I want. I want to know exactly where I'm going, and exactly where my place that I was going was. So, anyways, we'll check off this way. We'll grab the iron, redstone, and oh, gravel, iron, lapis. I don't want to go too deep off this way. There's a lot of iron, though. I'm just gonna grab the iron, and then I'm gonna... ...bail. Why do I keep finding all this iron? This cave is iron-rich. It's also lava-rich. Are we still at Y12? We're at Y13. Now we're at Y12. Well, um, if you're not- if you're wondering what all this coordinate stuff I'm doing is, if you haven't played Minecraft before, you wouldn't know, probably. Or maybe you have, but, um... It's basically where you are in the world. That's what a coordinate is in real life, too. So I'm just gonna pick up this iron real quick. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. This, I'm, like, taking everybody in Minecraft school right now. Even though everybody probably knows what I'm saying. It's probably all noob information. I'm not gonna go for that iron, though. It's too much effort. I'm definitely not running low on iron, though. We have... Yeah, we have more than enough iron. We have almost two stacks and a zombie. Zombie, I don't really need you right now. Iron. Um, I'm not gonna go for it. Once again, it's too much effort. I'll go for this iron, though. There we go. The reason I really want to use a cave, though, is because you have a better chance of finding the mob spawners. And that would be very nice if I could find one of the mob spawners. The skeleton would be optimum. Then I could build a whole house around it. Anyways, I think it's time we head back to the strip mine. Oh, I thought I saw an enderman. That was freaky. Um, okay. It's this way. I think, please tell me I'm not lost. Okay, it's this way over here, I believe. Yeah, and then there's our strip mines. Is there anything at the end of this tunnel? 
I don't think so. Some iron. I'll just go till this tunnel ends, I suppose. Then we'll stop using the cave. Or maybe we will. Okay, the tunnel has ended. In the ravine. Let's head back. I could always use the ravine for materials, but I feel like it's not worth it. Let's grab the gold on the way. Because why not? And we're out of here. If I could find my strip mine. Here, okay. Do that. And continuing on. This is, I feel like, a better way of finding diamonds in caves. Because I think caves can cut off your diamond generation. Um, where it could have been a 9 vein, which I believe is possible in 1.14. Um, which it didn't, it wasn't able to be done in 1.18. But, anyways, um, it's possible that I could turn your 9 vein into your 3 vein. You would not like that. Of course, it would repay for my diamond pickaxe, but still, I'd rather have the 9 vein. I don't know about you, but 9 veins are better than eight, than 3 veins when it comes to diamonds. Or any ore, for that matter. I'm probably boring. I was going to say, I'm probably boring you with just mining around, not finding diamonds, and talking about random stuff, but looks like we did find diamonds. That makes me feel accomplished, this mining adventure. Alright, how many diamonds are we going to get? I'm not actually going to mine the diamonds, though, yet, because we want to have um, Fortune 3 when we mine them, but I just want to have them here. Okay. Good, we have the diamonds exposed on almost all sides. There was this one YouTuber who um, sang a little bit of a song, and this company who owned the song claimed the video. <laughs> um, so I do hope that doesn't happen with me, with my sister playing the song down there. I don't even know if she knows that I'm YouTubing right now. She probably doesn't, knowing her. But who's the judge? Maybe she does. Maybe she just doesn't understand. It's possible. Let's just continue on. Looks like she stopped. Um, either way, my YouTube channel isn't that big for um, a company to come claim it. Unless, of course, maybe later on I got a bigger YouTube channel and then the company claimed my original videos. That would be sad, but... I don't think they would do that, with just a little fragment of the song downstairs, my sister playing it. Let's just hope that doesn't have any problems politic with politics. Anyways, if, if that even is politics, I don't even know what politics are at this point. Oh. Lava. Okay, I don't think there's diamonds near this lava. Looks like I've already been near the lava. Alright, um... Three diamonds in this cave? Doesn't look like it. There's some lapis, but I already have enough lapis to go around for now. So let's keep mining. Pretty soon, this will be our main mining area, and then we'll strip off from this mining area. Um, the most efficient way to do that, though, is to have, like, one here, or no, one here, and then one here. That way you're making sure both these blocks are seen. If you had it one here, and one way over here, then you wouldn't know if there's diamonds in just this vein. Which is unlikely, but possible. Okay, lapis, and iron, more iron, oh, no gravel. Thank you. Thank you for leaving me, Grapple. So leave your opinions down in the comments. Infinity or Amending on the bow. And I will look at them and see which one gets the most votes. Assuming anyone does vote. <laughs> um, please do vote if you are watching this video. 
You don't have to, of course. Um, but you do, in fact, have to subscribe and leave a like. No, okay, you don't have to. <laughs> but I'd like it if you did. Please do. It would be very supportive to this channel. Um, I don't actually sound like I do across YouTube because the recording software picks me up different than when I actually talk. Um, so, if I sound weird on YouTube, then it, it's not that I actually sound weird, it's just the way the recording is picking it up. I see iron down there, lapis, no diamonds though. Um, we're at 23 levels already. You know, actually, when you talk, in your head you sound higher than you act, um, lower actually, than you actually talk. So, like... Um, you might think that you're, um, all the way down here, but in reality, you're up here. Way up where I am, <laughs> sadly. Um, so let's just get through the skirt and find another vein of diamonds. That's lava, not diamonds. I don't think the game knows the difference. Okay, how are we gonna do this without causing... Any further problems? I'm gonna do that. Okay, and that. Is that gonna get rid of our lava problem? Okay, I think we're good. To continue on. Is there anything we should know about down here? It's a pretty big cave, but of course it doesn't have diamonds in it. Why would it have diamonds? Yeah, no, no caves have diamonds. That would just be unrealistic. I actually, um, said a monologue called Real Unrealistic. Um, it was very unrealistic. Anyways, I don't want to say it out loud because, um, copyright, you know. YouTube stuff. Also, you know that COPPA conference with YouTube? Now, they have to be marked for kids or something. I'm not totally sure on the specifics, but I know that it isn't exactly good for the YouTube company. But, or maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe COPPA is owned by YouTube. <laughs> for all I know, YouTube is doing COPPA to make YouTube better. But, I feel like YouTube isn't being done by COPPA. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. Let's get rid of granite, we don't need it. I think we should start heading back though, because my inventory is full. I'd say this is a, success a successful mining adventure. Of course, we're gonna go out again with um, a more, a, a less filled inventory. Later we'll have ender chests and we won't have to worry about that. But that's in the future. Not right now. Alright. Oh, that's a creeper. Alright. We're retreating. Successful mining adventure. Now let's not get eaten alive while we're on our way back. Because I have a feeling that's going to happen. Okay, for a second I thought that we lowered our block one. And I was going to be so mad. Last time that happened, I had to lower an entire floor down with it. Anyways, if you didn't know why 12 is the best place for diamonds, blah blah blah. Statistics of Minecraft. Um, if you ever do want diamonds and you can't find them, go to Y12. Because Y12 is where you'll find lava- Excuse me, sorry. I just ate a bunch of food. Um, it's where you'll find lava and diamonds. So go to Y12. It won't kill you, I promise. <laughs> okay. And we're back to our upgraded water system. Now let's dump all our stuff in a chest, because that's what you do when you're done with the mining event. I'm actually gonna do this. I'm gonna make an entire chest dedicated to cobblestone. Because why not? I'm gonna sleep first though, because I don't wanna risk anything. What, I can't turn F3 off while I'm in bed? Why? 
We would make an, a, a mechanic like that. Alright, these two paths are going to be dedicated to cobblestone. Actually, the top one will be orange. Um. Okay, we'll get all this stuff out. Um. All the cobblestone and all the ores we will take out of these chests. Um. Okay. Cobblestone down here. Creeper, stay away. Put all of our iron up here. That looks good. Um, cobblestone. Um, and to say... Not that much cobblestone, actually. Wait, there's gold. I forgot. What am I talking about? Um, nether quartz is an ore. We'll put nether quartz over here. More iron. Even more iron. Cobblestone. Here's some gold. All of our lappies. Do we have any extra lappies? We do. And redstone. Why do I pass these things up? Okay. I'll put our lap um, our redstone right here. And we'll put all of our iron ingots right there. I suppose we should smelt these. Okay. But first let's dump some of our redstone in here and our lappies. Don't need the, um, we want the arrows, not the oak fence. The arrows are like wanting to get out of my in inventory. <laughs> Poor things. Alright, gold ingots go right there. Iron right there. Alright, now let's melt this. Um, four is not actually enough for a stack. So let's do 32 each one. 32 for you. 32 for you, 32 for you, um, 32 for you, uh, 32 for you, 32 for you, and 32 for you, and I'll put four more in, I'll give you another 32, um, We'll just put the extra 30 in there. Okay, I think we're good. Whoa, skeleton. Let me make one more furnace. Look here. Okay. Let's put away some other stuff here, though. Okay, one more furnace, because this doesn't look right the way it is right now. Let's do that. Alright. We'll put the rest in there. Okay, that should smell, and we'll be good. Um, what should we do next? How long have we been recording for? Is there like a stat that tells how long we've been playing Minecraft? Well, it's this episode. I got it. Um. Yeah, no, no, there's there's no stats. Um, I don't think there is. Um, I remember seeing something that said like day 25. Okay. Yeah, it just says day 25. Okay. Let's see if that's been smelting. Only 11. Okay. All right. Well, I guess that is a nice end of this episode. And off camera. I'll do some fun stuff, such as setting up our villager breeder. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Subscribe, leave a like, and hit the bell. Bye, guys.